I think we can officially start with today's webinar. Um, I am just going to go through my slide just a second. Yes, that's it. So introductions first. Uh, I am Valentina Devico. I am the communication manager of CSES, a partner in, uh, in, in the consortium that uh, has been working on Kabada since 2019. We have been working really, really hard to provide people with uh, a very nice AI digital tool. And uh, today actually is the right time for us uh, to officially launch the platform and chat it with all of you. So I'm really glad that we have 35 people and more people are to come. So just a few instructions before we start. Uh, we're going to be together until uh, for one hour and a half. So I really hope that you can stay with us. The first uh, part would be, um, let's say, hosted by two speakers of honor that we have today and that I hope you will enjoy their presentation. But the main the main objective of today's webinar is to let Kabada speak for us and we want to share uh, the main tool, the Kabada tool. We want to share with you how it works. We want to do to, to see actually how that uh, finally works. And to do that, I have, as mentioned, two speakers of honor. So I'm just going to introduce them first. Uh, the first speaker of today is Yanis Hermanis, an assistant professor at BA School of Business and Finance uh, of Latvia. Uh, he's going to talk a little bit about Kabada because, yes, yeah, some of you uh, have been following the process of the development of the tool, but some others today might not be quite familiar with, uh, with what it is. So I think it's important that um, Yanis uh, shares uh, his um, some words about how we got here and what is Kabada tool and what it can do actually. Uh, after him, we have uh, Christoph Slezinskis, uh, another very important partner in the consortium um, that's been following up with the development of the of the tool, and uh, he will explain to us uh, how it actually uh, works. Um, after him, we're going to have a, um, let's say a part of this webinar where we will simulate how it works. So it's just for you to try it out together with us and we're going to do a little bit of a simulation so we can try it out and collect your ideas and feedbacks of the Then we have dedicated the last part for feedbacks of course and the Q&A session. So you can use the button here in the in the bottom part of your screen to raise your hand and we will give you the, the floor just to ask questions, share, share opinions, and, you know, we think your opinion really matters for us. Uh, so, yeah, feel free to talk or write in the chat box, whatever you feel comfortable with. Uh, so, yeah, I won't talk any further. I just want to give the floor to the first uh, speaker, as I mentioned, the Nani Sermonis. I think it's, uh, it's very important that you share some words with us about Kabada because you obviously are the leader of the pro this project and you have been following it through. So I'm really glad to give you the floor, Yanis. And just a few minutes, few seconds. I'm preparing my screen. No. Uh, uh, first, typical question to everybody: Do you see my screen? Yes, we do. Okay, perfectly. Uh, <clears throat> good evening, everybody. Good evening. Uh, everybody who decided to participate uh, in our webinar. Uh, yeah, uh, as Valentina mentioned, we are actually really glad uh, to show what we prepared, uh, what we achieved uh, during the uh, past few years uh, and developing uh, our ideas uh, in a tangible, a tangible result. And uh, yeah, uh, my presentation for the next few minutes uh, will be a short intro about uh, what is, uh, uh, as we are calling, uh, about the tool. A uh, few words about overall concept and overall structure. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> and uh, no, to understand <laughs> uh, uh, what at the end actually we have. Uh, no, 
first, uh, first, first slide, it's official slide uh, official name of our project, Knowledge Alliance of Business Idea Assessment, Digital Approach, our website, Kabbada.eu, uh, project number, etc. etc. Now, yeah, I, I'm representing uh, my institution, the School of Business and Financing. Uh, we are coordinators of this project. And yeah, my name is Jan Sperman. Uh, no, a small intro uh, about uh, our consortium. Uh, our consortium, uh, we have a really nice uh, <coughs> partnership here. Uh, in total, we are uh, nine partners. Uh, we are representing all areas. We are representing academic part, several universities. We are representing business part. We have several companies we are representing uh, non-governmental organization part. Uh, also, we have a few partners on this side. We are here uh, professionals from uh, uh, <clears throat> business education, we are here, oops, something wrong happened with my screen. Hmm. What happens now? Sorry, okay, by the way, uh, I'm continuing. Uh, my presentation somewhere lost uh, some, 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 something here, but uh, yeah, okay. Uh, everything is fine again, I believe. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> we have professionals from uh, business consultancies uh, area, we have professionals from financial institutions, we have professionals from ICT areas, uh, developing uh, ICT systems areas. Uh, we are covering lots of uh, areas at the end, uh, no, which was actually main of knowledge alliances. Uh, okay, let's move it then directly to our uh, a tool and actually start uh, from the beginning, from the beginning from ideas. I believe everybody of us sometimes uh, born in the morning and tell for yourself, first of all, hmm, I have nice business idea. I would like to do something. Uh, I would like to light my nice job and I would like to you know, uh, establish my personal business because finally I have a great idea. And I believe in most of these cases, uh, after this uh, great moment, I have an idea. <laughs> we realized that actually you know what we need to do next. And uh, questions arise, different questions arise. Uh, you no, know, we are thinking, okay, does I have uh, does I have enough money to start something? Does I have enough information? Uh, <clears throat> maybe I need to receive some consultancy from uh, my professors in university. Uh, maybe I need to go to some consultancy company and ask for some advice. Uh, but by the end, everybody will tell you, uh, first of all, what you need to do is you, you need to write your business plan at the end. And the uh, next question is, how? How? Uh, okay, no, lots of uh, approaches uh, involved we have for this. So it's nothing unique, uh, but we decide somehow help uh, for everybody, for everybody in nowadays, uh, and uh, somehow make things more easier. Uh, as mean, uh, we born with the idea, uh, let's create structure, completely structure it, uh, and, and with avoiding, uh, with avoiding uh, lots of uh, typing, uh, lots of writing. Uh, of course, web-based uh, platform where you can you can create uh, your business plan. Uh, uh, and following our guidance, and at the end, uh, you will understand <laughs> is it real or not. Uh, no, I hope. Uh, yeah, uh, of course, uh, it's not. Uh, it's, it's it's based on uh, theoretical research is done by other researchers. Uh, it's based on real world statistics, and at the end, actually, we also have here some machine learning algorithms so who is helping for us. Uh, who's helping for our customers to create business plan even better. Uh, let's talk about uh, our, I would say now, uh, business uh, model concept, uh, which we have. We have six blocks uh, we decided to. Uh, first of all, when you come to our uh, platform, uh, we will introduce you uh, with some uh, important facts about your industry where you would like to establish your business. About statistical data, 
uh, just to show you some nice trends, what happens exactly in your industry, in your country, you can compare with all world situation in your country, compare maybe with other countries also. Uh, no, for example, no, uh, how big is competition in your, in your industry? Uh, how many enterprises we have at the moment? Uh, is it growing or decreasing? Uh, what about average salaries? Uh, what about investments? Uh, what about turnover? Uh, 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 yeah, uh, how big is success rate at the end? After three years of uh, being in this uh, business in this industry, uh, next part uh, we are adding. We are uh, we decide uh, you need to read some risk analysis about your industry. Uh, this is our expert opinion, uh, of course. Uh, but uh, yeah, we are trying to cover. Uh, almost each uh, industry of our being named classificator uh, and uh, give some kind of inside information. Uh, it is very risky, maybe you know, risks are mundane, no, not very high uh, from different perspectives. Uh, not just to, to go to give to our potential uh, business owner uh, inside information about the industry where you would like to go. And if your question, and if your answer is uh, still, yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready, I need, I would like to be here. Uh, then we are moving to the next part, one of the most important part, business canvas part. Yeah, it's the famous part, uh, business canvas model uh, offered by Genius Osterwald, uh, but with our twist here, uh, with uh, our uh, ideas, uh, it doesn't look exactly precisely like uh, Osterwald or Business Canvas, but all structures are here. And the uh, other benefit is here that uh, you are just putting uh, <laughs> uh, some uh, uh, small pieces together, uh, actually. Uh, you are selecting, okay, this is for me, this is for me, this is for me, this is for me. And at the end, after uh, uh, no, uh, some effort, uh, you are receiving uh, fully filled business canvas model, actually. Uh, next part is SWOT analysis. Yeah, now uh, we're also offering uh, for our customers uh, uh, to do uh, SWOT analysis for your business, uh, understand the strengths and weaknesses, opportunities and threats. So of course, again, it's common type of analysis, but again, uh, with uh, some our twist, uh, we are pushing our customers uh, to think actually in very general level from this perspective. And the next part uh, is some kind of self-evaluation about personal characteristics. Are you able actually to establish your own business? Are you ready for your business? Um, again, this is some kind of thinking. This is some kind of thinking you know, at, the, at the same time. Uh, it's a serious question, so what do you need to actually answer? It's okay, there is not a right and wrong answers, but still, uh, self evaluation always is really good. And maybe at the end, one of the most important parts is a financial proposition, uh, which uh, leads to cash flow for uh, next 12 months. Uh, and actually, <laughs> the most important question is uh, okay, you have an idea, you prepared your business plan, uh, but uh, do you really survive? Do you really have a chance also from a financial perspective to survive during? Uh, next year, for example. Uh, and uh, this financial proposition part is actually more or less, it's uh, built uh, It's built automatically. Uh, we are asking for your questions, you are answering, and we are building. And one of the most interesting part in our tool, and I'm close to finish here, uh, it's uh, in almost each part in our tool, uh, we have small button we are calling a uh, smart advice button or some kind of robot. And uh, if you struggle somewhere in some point, uh, each time you can ask for some help and uh, we can suggest you. Well, maybe you forgot about uh, something here. Uh, please select uh, this option uh, because in most cases, in lots of cases, something similar happens. Uh, this uh, engine which we created here uh, is you know, some, is some, 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 uh, artificial intelligence uh, algorithms and besides them, machine learning and we are using all information provided by other users and uh, 
suggesting uh, more and more and more correctly uh, to new ones. And, and result is clear. Uh, you can uh, download your business plan for any needs, not a problem. And, then, uh, and yeah, uh, just remind those two websites, uh, our slogan, Kabada, or the uh, acronym Kabada, just Google it. And uh, <laughs> then you'll find us, and actually you can start uh, great. Uh, your really serious business plan and evaluate your ideas. Yep. Uh, as uh, we are saying, uh, uh, we are a place over a uh, place the start of your business on the right foot. Yep, this uh, was my small intro about overall structure. Uh, it's uh, for us, it's take a time. But uh, we are very proud of our end result. Thank you, Yanis. Thank you very much. I hope that the audience enjoyed your presentation and they know a little bit more about the tool now. Uh, so now we can dig even deeper with our next uh, presenter. Um, I mentioned him already, but I can do it twice. It doesn't hurt anyone. So Christoph Slizewski is assistant professor from BA School of Business and Finance uh, um, of Latvia. And uh, yes, um, Christoph, if you're connected and uh, all well, we can hear your words about how the tool actually works. Please enlighten us. Thank you, Valentina, for introdu introducing me. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining. Thanks for coming. Um, I hope you will enjoy our uh, our session and uh, right now we are about to have a, a journey uh, through the real uh, environment on the platform um what we'll we will do first uh, the demonstration on how it works uh, how you can how, how you can go through uh, all the blocks uh, it will take about 20 minutes and uh, then uh, we will switch to uh well practical uh, part uh, where you will be able to work with your business ideas and to try out with some guidance again. So Janis already introduced the, the general concept uh, and, and how it looks. Now let's uh, let's 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 see how it looks in the real environment in the platform. So I will share my screen so that uh, uh, so that you so that we are working in uh, in in the platform in the abada.ba.lv uh, where you will be able now to follow um, how to how to work with uh, specific uh, blocks here so um, first of all um, once you are here of course you have to log in and um, i'll do it uh, to show you so first of all you can uh, do it with uh, your google account which is to my mind the easiest way, but you can also use whichever email address you want and to register through it, set up your password and uh, and to proceed in that way. So, but I will get in with the use of my uh, Google account. So, and I'm in uh, in a moment. Yes, so um, with my profile. So, as I already have some business plans developed here, so under this, my business plans, I can see them. So as you can see, there are many of them. There are no limitations. Everyone can create as, as much as he wishes or she wishes uh, these business plans. And there are also this part of that is called public business plans. So we can see that some uh, people do not uh, restrict themselves uh, from sharing with others. So at the moment we have here 40 business plans already. You can choose by industries, by countries and look at, the, at them. Okay, so, but uh, uh, let's have a very brief and, and, and shortened uh, simulation on uh, uh, how it would be if I start uh, creating um, a new business plan and how it would work. So, uh, Let's uh, let's use Yanis. Uh, so, uh, Valentina, can you add Yanis also to, 
he can, he can speak with me? Yeah, of course. He just has to okay. turn on his microphone. Yeah. Okay. So uh, he will help me. So let's imagine that uh, me and Janis, uh, we are the team uh, with a business idea. By the way, uh, uh, in this platform, everyone can also co-work uh, and share the, the business plans with others so that it is possible also for three or five persons to work on the same business plan. It's possible. So because uh, very often um, uh, business ideas are developed in the teams. So let's imagine that Yanis and me is a team and Yanis has a business idea. Uh, I know that uh, he is... Uh, uh, interested in 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 uh, um, in some drinks, uh, perhaps the idea will be related to that, and um, we will try to a uh, little bit simulate with that. So, you see the button create plan. Uh, so I will start the new plan, and first of all we have to give a name for the for the project that uh, for which we will create a business plan. So Yanis, what will be our uh, our project name? Can we call it somehow? Uh, Golden Friday drink. Okay, Golden Friday drink will be the name. Good. So, and then uh, we will skip the cover image uh, to make it more beautiful. But what is important is to select Nazi uh, code, which is a classification of economic activities in European Union. So for those who are not familiar with that and want to get some uh, information about that, it is always possible to click here, read more about Nazi, so that you can, uh, you can understand under which code, for example, your economic activity lies. So, but uh, Janis, do you know where is it uh, under which? Well, I believe it's uh, manufacturing. So uh, it should be I'm manufacturing. going to manufacture something. Yeah. So will it? Uh, what what the business idea will be? Um, uh, brewery, uh, brewing of stout or uh, what? Yeah, yeah. I would like to brew something. Okay. It's mean, manufacture uh, of beverages. C11. Yeah, yeah beverages. it's C11. Manufacture of beverages. Uh, Manu okay, let's go to ciders. To ciders. Okay, yeah. eleven oh three. So this is it. And country, no, Latvia. I'm from Latvia. Yeah. Okay. So there is only English version. So we take English version and we submit. So, and what we see down here is Golden Friday drink. This is our business plan. We will work on it now. So let's open. First of all, Yanis said industry data and industry risks. This is where you can get some information about the industry, how it uh, how it works, how it does, uh, uh, looking at some statistics and also some risk analysis. Let's first uh, go to industry data. Now the, uh, the, the, the data are uh, channeled from the Eurostat. So and and then and, and we can find some couple of interesting statistics, uh, as you can see here, for the uh, for the whole of the industry. So we see company survival rate for first three years in the industry in Latvia, uh, in all industries in Latvia. So we can make some comparative analysis, and for all industries in European Union. Yeah, so you can uh, get already maybe some conclusions from these data for your well, attractiveness of the industry, let's say, for the business. And uh, uh, very often, maybe uh, the ones which are not maybe familiar with these different uh, entrepreneurial statistics indicators. So for that, we always have these I buttons uh, where all the indicators in this case are explained so that you can understand them uh, by looking at them carefully. And, and reading them, yes. So then there are some other statistics about how big is the industry, looking at the enterprise number of enterprises uh, in the industry over time and compared also with the total number of enterprises in the economy so that you can follow the trends and the same also with the turnover in the industry. And also what is important, how, uh, uh, how the investment is flowing in, in this uh, particular industry. 
and uh, also number of employees in full time. So in some combination with turnover and number of enterprises, you can also understand some things about the labor productivity changes over the time. Actually, for this, you still have also specific data made here. Yes, labor productivity, share of personal costs so that you can understand approximately uh, what are the what what is a, uh, a classical cost structure, at least uh, from the uh, uh, labor cost cost um, uh, in intensity in the industry. And also what is the total average cost and some other indicators uh, which might be interesting for you. And then uh, also you have uh, this part called industry risks. So we see here already made by experts uh, risk assessment for the industry. So we can see that, uh, for example, political and legal risk is uh, with a high likelihood that something might happen there and severity if uh, something happens in the political and legal and uh, uh, in legal area so it might have a quite severe uh, impact on the on the companies in the in the industry and the same for economic risks social risks technological etc so evaluation high medium low yes and also some uh, comments and descriptions so why it is believed that uh, uh, it is like that as uh, as measured uh, here uh, by high medium or low yes so uh, you can you can you can read it here and we have uh, all in all 13 different uh, types of risks related to the um, uh, activities in the industry which are uh, in that way um, evaluated by the experts, uh, by the pool of experts. So again, uh, these first two parts, industry data and the industry risks are just uh, for your information uh, so that uh, you can have some, maybe some insights uh, which are made automatically by the system. So, but now uh, we should, at, uh, at, 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 at this moment, we have to move on to creating of your business model which is actually the essence of like business plan so and uh, we use this uh, business uh, canvas model developed by alex osterwalder and uh, we can uh, see uh, well how it works um, we will not be able to go through all nine uh, uh, blocks of the uh, of it but at least through some of them. So let's start with a value proposition, which actually means uh, uh, what, what your product will be, what you will offer to the market. Let's open this part and we see value propositions. The system asks you to add key product. Well, let's add some product. Yanis, what will be our first product? System asks us about uh, that. Okay. Uh, the first product will be, of course, cider. Uh, let's call uh golden cider golden cider so oh, it's a it's a good right it's of not course. sandwich it's yeah, physical it's good. good okay tasty uh, um what else yeah. <laughs> okay what else? tasty tasty uh, uh, uh with hopes tasty golden and with hopes hope hopes Oops. H O no without W. And with hopes. Okay. Good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So um price level. High end. Oh, okay, good. High end. Uh will we have additional income sources when working with this product? For example, maybe we will deliver to home if someone wishes. So then we will have maybe some fees coming from another product, which is delivery. No, yeah, yeah. It's, okay. It's, it's... Okay. Good. So, um, and what about the product features? You see, we can add some up to nine product features. Oh, okay. I'm looking to hear. Uh, I also I said think the second. About it is an improvement of existing product or service. Hmm? Yeah. Has it's a different extended. visual design, right? Yeah, I have Can a, be nice, a niche. A nice okay. It's a niche, yeah. More eco-friendly, I think, and it should be also uh, used. Yeah, more eco-friendly, probably. Aims to set uh, a trend, perhaps. 
And is a sure. result of our research and will be the res uh, result of our research and development. Okay, good. Yeah. So it's enough. Uh, uh, what is interesting that system based on some algorithms already provides you the information about the, well, let's say the status or summary for this product saying that, okay, price is high end. This is what we specified, but the system also calculated that based on what we entered here for the features, uh, this is a uh, medium innovative of the medium quality and of the medium differentiation level product. Uh, well, not often it happens that everything is medium, yeah, but uh, sometimes it's highly innovative or, or, or highly differentiated or with, well, maybe even higher quality. In this case, based on this, it says like that. Okay, let's, uh, let's uh, save this product and uh, let's go back and perhaps uh, we should move on with uh, we could move on with other products as well, of course, but let's stop here with one because we have some time limitations. I hope that the idea on, 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 on about how to work on it is clear. So system saves everything and it is important because it is related also to some other parts as you will see later in the system. So customer segments, now let's, let's take the customer segments, okay. So you can see that uh, you can add different type of customer segments, starting from B to C, which is consumers, uh, B to B, which is business or business to business. And we also have this uh, 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 possibility to add some public bodies or non-governmental uh, organizations too. It's also possible. So what type of the segment perhaps could be the basic and the most important for us? It's some uh, consumer, definitely. I'm going to okay. consume segment. So we will add uh, one segment for the for the consumers here. Let's add the segment. How will how we will call it? Cider drinkers. Good. Age group. Uh, 35, 64. And yeah. that's it. Yeah. So we will focus on them. Gender? Both. Good. Education? Uh, perhaps higher education. Okay. No, not secondary. Good. Income? Uh, medium and high. And finally, See people in the city, dom uh, domestic, urban, rural, foreign, exports? Uh, domestic, urban. Okay. So yeah. this, yep, yeah. good. So this is our basic segment. So we can add more segments, perhaps. Perhaps we will export something. To, to some households uh, or final consumers in some other countries. So we can add, maybe we will work with Horeca companies, with some hotels, restaurants. So we would add then some business segments here. Perhaps we will even sell to the, I don't know, local municipality. So then we would add uh, something here. Yeah. So, but okay, we have at least one segment uh, for now, cider drinkers, and you see the summary for it. Uh, good. Um, okay, so uh, we can go uh, back and have another segment. Uh, so another uh, another one. Uh, well, um, yeah. Well, well, let's let's look at uh, at um, maybe key resources uh, section, which is important uh, as uh, you know when when we consider some inputs here and is related heavily also to the financial projections. So let's add some uh, key resources that we will need for the production. Uh, as you can see, there can be different. Which one we will take for the first? No, start with physical resources. Physical resources. What we will need? No, I believe we need equipment. Equipment. What kind of equipment? Mm. Some proving equipment. <laughs> I'm not willing to specify at the moment. Let's call it brewing machine. I don't know what it is, yeah. but 
perhaps yeah. it could be okay will we have it will we buy it no i don't know what i'm going to buy okay let's buy let's take it as a buy okay good we can save it one more uh, let's add yeah let's add one more and this time human research human resources oh uh, yeah i know some specialists good uh, what no kind description no brew master Brewing master. master, okay, good. Uh, uh, yeah, employ. I'm going to employ, employ permanently, it. time to time. Uh, permanently, okay, good. So, it is important now, system not only save this information but also transfer it to financial part, yeah, because as soon as we will get to the financial projections part. So of course uh, it is related to some uh, costs as well, and uh, the system already knows what kind of uh, resources we will need, and the system will ask us, "Okay, good, you need some brewing master, you need some brewing machine, good. How much will you uh, will will it cost this brewing machine, or how much you intend to pay per month uh, to this uh, brewing master, and so that you can uh, set up the." Uh, the 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 uh, cash flow and some other uh, financial projections good so uh, let's move back and um, maybe briefly let's look at some uh, another uh, section here called cost structure so maybe we can add some cost structure uh, some some costs here for example okay. some kind of fixed costs it's divided in fixed and variable costs here no, I believe I need some kind of utilities. Utilities, good. Yeah, I'm looking for utilities. No, definitely I need electricity. Uh, no, from Electrum. It is Latvian company. Okay. Yeah. And, well, not well, specific description, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just that. And so we have one fixed cost, and perhaps there will be many more. But let's let's take one variable cost just to see how it works. So uh, what we... something about the marketing, I believe it's not maybe every time the same. What? Uh, Instagram. Uh, let's say, oh, uh, know how it's called. Too. Uh, Social media marketing. Okay. Well, yeah, it's option in the moment description. It's all it's it's for us. It's not a mandatory field here. Yeah, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Good. So, um, well, good. You know, in that way, you can of course organize all the all the costs that you will have in, in your business. And again, it is also uh, uh, this information brought to the financial part so that you don't have to repeat it later. Yes, so system already knows what kind of variable and fixed costs you will have in your uh, business model. So, okay, so as you, as you see, I, I introduced just a couple of these, um, uh, of these uh, blocks in Business Canvas but the user has to work of course on all of them uh, but the idea is, is, is the same you always can choose something from some um, uh, predefined uh, choices and of course you can always always read some informative notes about what is what swot swot analysis is uh, well known to everyone so you can set up the some swot analysis Yanis, you see the system um, uh, uh, offers us uh, three to six strengths and weaknesses to uh, uh, to select from the list and the same for opportunities and threats three to six from from each for each side from the list uh, here so we will have to make but maybe we can uh, have a brief comment here you see this is artificial intelligence hint so artificial intelligence uh, uh, based on some algorithms already provides us some suggestions about what might be for this type of business, uh, some um, strengths and weaknesses. 
Uh, I'm not going to read it, but uh, we can simply, if we agree, we can add and maybe then uh, change something if we want. Obviously, we have to because there are perhaps too many offered strengths and just one weakness. It doesn't seem plausible. Uh, maybe our artificial intelligence uh, um, uh, information for now is uh, not, not enough to be able to provide very correct information uh, to the user. But over the time, of course, uh, we are machine learning process. It will become more and more intelligent, let's say, uh, and more smart. So, but okay, uh, perhaps something has to be taken out here. Uh, otherwise, it's too much, especially on the strength side. And well, yeah. Okay, let's take out a couple of them. So I, I hope that the idea is clear for you and, and the same also here. So we can say that maybe access, we have a, a good opportunity for access to financial resources because we can really pretend for some development financial options in the country. And, and, and But then we say that uh, competition is really... Uh, threatening in the industry so we see it and there are a lot of cyber security sorry cyber security threats for example but we see that economic growth is projected in our country so well and in that way we have some kind of uh, SWOT analysis that uh, we can we can we can finalize here I hope and go back maybe to something else yes uh, at this moment, uh, we are close to finishing this part so that we can switch to some uh, real training also for you. Uh, uh, what I want to say here before uh, saying a couple of words about the financial projections is that you always can export as a file uh, everything that you've been working on and that you have saved in the system by downloading here either in doc or PDF uh, version of file. Uh, later, also, you can download cash flow separately uh, when system creates from the financial projections so that um, uh, theoretically you can always uh, print it out. You can work in the Word, uh, sorry, in Word um, uh, uh, document adding maybe by, by, by writing, by typing something uh, in the text if you wish uh, to have more of the information. But the system will uh, prepare for you um, uh, the, the file uh, based on what you've uh, chosen uh, going through the uh, through the uh, through the platform and uh, for the financial projections i have to say that uh, you no know, um, uh, very briefly just uh, you know um, there will be five sections as you can see uh, for example if you open asset you see that uh, system already brought this equipment of brewing machine uh, as we specified it before, so now you have to just enter your, the sum, and the VAT rate will be calculated, added, which is in Latvia 21%, and that's it. Yeah, okay. Uh, then, uh, in the same way, you uh, work with uh, fixed and variable costs. You see, under the fixed cost, we already have this electricity that we specified, so now you have to uh, say how much it will be uh, for, for months. Yeah, and then you can go also to variable costs, where you see that social media, which we said can be some variable cost from time to time. We will have some ads, maybe in social media. Then you specify here by months, saying that okay, in the second month and maybe in the fifth month, in the sixth month and in the ninth month, we will have some ads. So for that, we will have to spend some money, and you specify how much. Yeah. So and again, the system saves all that information. Yes, here. And then uh, you also work with some sales forecasts where you work uh, with, uh, with, with, with your products that you have specified in the beginning. For example, in this case, Golden Cider, which is the only product that we specified. And then we add how much euro, uh, how much uh, units we will sell here and, and what will be the price for one unit. And then the, 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 the uh, uh, some sales projections are forecasted. And then if you have more products, so of course you work uh, on this information for all the products. Um, and um, 
and 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 also also the there is a, the business startup investment part where you go in and then specify what you will need for the start for the beginning of that and finally the system calculates the cash flow for the first uh, year of operations for you let me show you um, how it uh, works uh, especially on the uh, especially for this uh, um, uh, financial projections if you have really um, already made the business plan and you see that um, there is one which is completed called stout is your new blood let me open it the, this one is the one which is fully finished and um, if you if you've gone through all the uh, all the points in the system and if you got it so um, you can see your cash flow here um, in this a way you can see uh, by by months for the first year again i will not go into the details because it's, it's too complicated all the all the numbers already introduced in the system etc and what what is important outcome is that you can see how your cash flow uh, is doing uh, over the months uh, in the in the let's say by by months what what is your um, monthly balance and what is your total balance on your account and for example here you can see that some red flags are coming out already in the seventh month so obviously uh, if the situation is like this so you have to go back to your projections for costs and maybe for sales plans maybe you have to reconsider like in this case uh, some um, uh, um, uh, credits that you or loans that you have taken uh, maybe they are too big uh, maybe they should be instead of short term some long term so that uh, the, the the credit burden is not that big so okay and finally of course you can also um, uh, uh, later on experiment with uh, these this cash flow by exporting it as an excel file as you can see here and then you can play uh, in the Excel sheet by changing some numbers and adjusting them uh, to make the uh, business more viable, uh, not running in the minuses like you can see it here. Uh, so as I said, so that's it. Uh, that's it. I, I I tried. You see, we already um, overspent some some minutes. So, but uh, I hope that you got some first impression about how it works. I believe that many of you, those who like these uh, different platforms and digital tools, um, from now already understand how it works. And especially if you have some business background, so you can understand also different, uh, different concepts here and um, uh, words that are used uh, and, and then work on your own. But uh, right now, we will switch to the, uh, to the uh, possibility to make some simulation where I would invite uh, you to participate and and maybe to operate uh, in the system with your own business idea. Um, so, well, uh, let me prepare for this. Um, I will. Uh, uh, Christoph, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Uh, it's all very interesting. I I hear and well, I actually read. A few comments in the chat. So, if we could make this interactive, I think it's uh, it could give us uh, more. Uh, it could be more meaningful. Uh, there's someone who's asking, for example, how to work in group at one business plan. This is actually a very interesting question. I think. How do we answer to this, you or Yannis? Yannis, can you take uh, this? Uh, yeah. Uh, it's relatively easy. Uh, Christos, please log in back to your system. No, <clears throat> oh, something doesn't work. Just press the refresh button when not open. My business uh, let's plans. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to your business plans. Go to the last business plan which you created. Golden Friday drink. 
And uh, we scroll up. Yeah, uh, you see, there we have in right side uh, chapter uh, a bit down, a bit down, a bit down. Uh, it's called members. Uh, and you can invite uh, members for your business plan. Uh, what you need to know, uh, you need to know, no. Uh, and uh, in this case, you need to know uh, your uh, colleague which, uh, with which you are uh, uh, operated together. Uh, no email address uh, which uh, this colleague used exactly in our system with, with uh, which is registered. Uh, if it's Gmail address, it's not just uh, you need to ask uh, my teammate. Uh, please share with me your Gmail address or uh, any other email address which uh, you with which you created your account, and then you can immediately share. Uh, with those people and uh, those people uh, see uh, on your side uh, also uh, this plan. Actually, you know, this uh, plan which, uh, <clears throat> which Christoph showed to us at the end, uh, it's uh, provided, uh, it's created by myself, it's from my side, uh, and I shared uh, with uh, Christoph. And what is important during this process, okay, uh, creator is an owner, it's uh, it's it's uh, normal. It's true, uh, but at the same time, uh, simultaneously, actually, also uh, others no no can make changes in your business plan. Uh, no, this is uh, no no answer. Yeah, so I think we have answered to Lidmila question. Thank you, thank you for for uh, for asking this question. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Um. There's also another question. Do we have global data for data and risks, for example, in the US, Christophs? No, uh, it, it's about the industry statistics, right? Yeah. yeah as I understand. Well, um, as, I, as I mentioned, maybe uh, you know, when we were in this part, industry data, yeah? So uh, the data we receive uh, are the data from Eurostat, um, a structural business business statistics database so it covers only european union countries eu 27 yeah so uh, unfortunately we do not have uh, the data from outside the eu just european uh, union countries it's uh, also related to the fact that this is eu funded project so our focus uh, was a uh, european union countries uh, so unfortunately just that Okay, yeah. Uh, thank you. Mm, thank you for asking me the question. Um, uh, now we're talking about risk analysis. Uh, Constantinos is actually asking if the risk analysis is calculated inside of the platform based on the industry data, or is it taken from outside, from an external source? Can we answer to this, Christoph? Yes, yes, we can answer to this. So what we did, uh, we had a uh, let's say task forces or group of experts working uh, through the whole Nazi classification, uh, uh, taking all uh, different industries and let's say sitting down around the table. Uh, and uh, uh, there were experts which are, let's say, general experts in, well, let's say in economics from academia, but uh, there were also um, invited some experts from industries uh, and uh, well, the, 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 there was, yeah, well, made this assessment upon the uh, general agreement uh, within these task forces or groups of experts about different kind of risks. So they were screening through different kind of risk type types of risks for that and that industry and uh, giving all the evaluations and some comments as well. So it's like a quite a general, let's say, evaluation for the companies in the industry, not for the specific company. So this is, is of course, what you will do when, when thinking about some threats, uh, in particular for your business model, maybe there will be some more specifics, yes? So this is only about the whole of the industry. And the industries, of course, differ in that, uh, in that, uh, 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 from, from that point of view what type of risks are more heavy or less heavy and what are the probabilities. So that is it. <clears throat> okay. Uh, cheers, Christophs, and thank you, Konstantinos, for asking this question. 
Uh, now I have a couple of questions for Yanis before going moving on to the next part. Very quickly, Yanis, um, is there an, an, a, the, 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 do we have a chance to exporting the business plan and print it out? And the second oh. question is, uh, are the business plans in the platform available and visible for everyone? How does that work? Oh, okay. Uh, first, uh, first question about exporting business plan uh, and printing out. Uh, what you're offering at the end uh, when you complete with your plan uh, in our platform, uh, when you complete uh, all parts of a uh, business canvas model, complete with your SWOT analysis and complete it also financial projection. Um, actually, you can uh, do <laughs> such kind of things uh, anytime. Uh, let no uh, make sense of when everything is completed. Uh, no way how you can print out. Oh, this is uh, we are uh, no uh, part which Christoph uh, show a bit scroll up our page. Uh, this uh, export here you can export uh, your 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 created plan uh, in a doc file. No, that's mean uh, you can easily open to any word processor. And uh, no, if you need to add some your personal notes or make some changes or uh, finalizing your uh, business plan, <clears throat> some parts, uh, no, it's absolutely possible because no, you are from our side, we are offering to you actually no, no uh, structure. Everything is, yeah, uh, like here, everything is. Uh, everything we should select it uh, in our system. Now it's uh, <laughs> in document. That's mean actually it's it's able to print out. Um, and uh, sometimes I suggest, you know, uh, because this is like a very structured uh, look. Yes. Uh, um, yeah. Well, very hard look, let's say. And but 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 maybe uh, so sometimes I offer, for example, to students that uh, okay. Uh, here are your selections that you made in the platform, but you can add some text. You can make some descriptions, uh, some comments uh, here as you have a Word document. Yeah. So, well, but the business model specifics are here and also SWOT uh, you will find here. As it was made for the business plan. It looks like this. Maybe you look at it um, and say, well, I have still to add something here or here, yeah. and some industry risks analysis as well uh, that can be printed out, yeah, so. Uh, yeah, uh, also, also, also no, no, uh, the third option about uh, no uh, export or no, and say print out, yeah, and it's also which Christopher show, it's about the cash flow, yeah, no cash flow, we are offering export to Excel file, it makes sense not to put it directly in the Word document or PDF document. That's mean uh, if you know you're receiving a basic Excel in this case, uh, but uh, no, if you <laughs> understand the uh, uh, rows which you have here, of course uh, you you uh, you can uh, uh, play with numbers uh, maybe better here if you are you know, feel better and more comfortable in spreadsheets. Huh? Yeah, but there was this question about the uh, about the privacy of the business plans, Jan. So uh, yeah, next one. Uh, each plan, of course, uh, is absolutely private. This means only you and only you can see. And, uh, of course, your teammates uh, with which you shared. Uh, and, uh, no, in, in some moment, if you feel... Uh, no, especially this can be a benefit for uh, no teachers, uh, probably or consult no or con or consultants. Uh, then no, you can create maybe some uh, idea of business plan in your opinion, uh, which you would like, for example, share uh, with your students. Uh, no, just no, show you. Okay, this is how uh, looks. Uh, maybe some no good example. Uh, then. Uh, owner for each of business plan can change uh, business plan status you see uh, also no, exactly in the screen and right bottom corner you can change status from uh, from 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 uh, private uh, plan to business to public plan uh, but these public plans uh, no nobody can do nothing 
uh, just to look, okay, export, uh, but uh, of course, um, nobody is able to change something. No, our suggestion, of course, is not to <laughs> make each plan public, <laughs> only good ones. <laughs> we also, uh, I need to say, if I'm honest, we need to go one more time through uh, at the moment uh, about this public plan uh, setup because no, uh, some of them are just uh, just keep from testing purposes. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, but yeah, no. At the same time, uh, at the same time, uh, several no. At the moment, also really good plans we have here. Uh, Yanis, I have another question. Someone is asking how long the platform will be open and free of charge. Are there any technical limitations? We have we're going to test platform for thirty students in the next spring semester in uh, Vidzeme University. Would it be possible? Uh, okay, uh, no, about uh, how long time this platform will be open, uh, no, I hope uh, <laughs> at least several years. Uh, this is uh, what we are promising European Commission uh, no, that we will take care about uh, our platform as minimum, I would say, three, four years. No, after that, of course, we need to look for uh, no, some another financing sources. Uh, but uh, it it will be by the way free of charge. Uh, we are not going to charge any penny from our users. Uh, about numbers uh, at the moment, uh, no, of course, no, if we simultaneously comes here a thousand people, then we receive some problems. Uh, but uh, for typical class uh, class activity like 30, 40, 50, no problem. Yeah, that would be really great if you in the next semester will use with the university. <laughs> yeah, because it's machine learning. So the more it's used and the more the, the, the machine is learning from uh, from what it's up, uploaded there. So yeah, of course. Uh, thank you, Igor, for your question. Um, Look, I have another uh, one more if uh, we have some minutes now before moving on to the next step. I'm just going to uh, ask you, is there a tutorial video explaining how to use the program and uh, why the name Kabara, Yanis? Is this just... Uh, okay, first question, is there a tutorial? Uh, uh, first iteration of uh, tutorials will come out uh, No, okay. Uh, uh, in best case scenario, next week. Uh, but this is really best case scenario. Uh, no, I would say till 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 in the beginning of uh, February. Yeah, uh, you will see exactly in our system really nice, really nice link how to use Kabada, uh, where we explain uh, via video tutorials almost each section. Uh, of our tool. Uh, we are working on it right now, actually. And yeah. why it's called Kabada? <laughs> no, this is a tricky question. Thank you, Alberto, for this one. Uh, uh, here you can see the answer. Oh, not yeah. here. Well, where was, I think it oh, was. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see this paragraph, a big paragraph here. Kabada yes. stands for Knowledge Alliance of Business Idea Assessment Digital Approach. K A B A A D A yes Kabada. Yeah. So no, uh, no, somehow no, no. In our network, yeah, no, we are really familiar, and everybody understand about Kabada. What is a Kabada, etc., etc. Well, now we know uh, where the name comes from. Uh, thanks for asking, Alberto. Yeah. Uh, okay. Little, yeah, okay. Uh, the questions now are over in the chat. Um, so you can move on and uh, start uh, with, uh, with, with the other part. As soon as we have more questions, maybe later we can, we can answer the questions again. Okay. Uh, we have to be very fast. Uh, so, um, well, let me uh, open the file. Um, so, it, if I make it a little bit smaller, 
So do you see both both screens now? Yep. Okay, that's good then. So uh, well, uh, well, let's 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 do it. Uh, well, um, maybe it can help a bit. Uh, maybe we can uh, we will be able, uh, given the time constraints, just uh, maybe first couple of uh, points here. I envisaged uh, some uh, some working together. Let's say uh, each of you individually on your business idea, if you have one. And uh, me and Janis may be giving some comments uh, parallelly, simultaneously, uh, uh, but uh, we do not have too much time. But okay, well, at least what we have, we can we we, we can use it. Uh, so uh, well, uh, at least for those who wish to make some simulation, go to kabada uh, dot ba dot lv, uh, the home page here that that you see and uh, log in perhaps some of you already did it but um, anyways uh, um, we can we can wait and just uh, to make this oh wait jumped away so So you have to do the same stuff just to log in. And um, yeah, so you are in. I'm just going to emphasize one point, uh, Christophs. The platform is entirely in English. Yeah, yeah, of course. Absolutely. And. Um, oh. Please, please, Christoph, so also no, no, move your screen so that you can, so you can see both of them simultaneously. No? Raise the screen a bit, a bit, a bit smaller, this one. Okay, okay, Do let's make like it. That, yeah. mm -hmm. So, um, okay. Um, um, so, uh, if you are in, so you can see that um, the second step, yes, yeah, so let's go step by step so that you can, you can try, uh, take the second step, take uh, this, push this button, create business plan, and uh, well, as you might remember, you have to make some project name, yes. You have to specify what what your business idea will be. So do it. Well, let it be again some cider, silver ciders this time for me. And then, uh, well, if you are aware about the NATSE code that uh, is actual for your business idea, so you can you can take it from the list. Uh, but if not, if, if you cannot do it in two minutes, I would suggest you to take any, uh, but perhaps you can take, well, as I specified here in the slide, yes. So take, for example, C1052, like, okay. Okay, then I would put it here, some silver ice cream instead, if I specify that. Um, yeah. Yes? Question of Yusuf, is that a mobile app for Kabada? Sorry, what, what was the question? The question is, uh, is there a mobile app, an application for mobiles for Kabada? Uh, no, uh, no, no mobile application, but, uh, uh, but still uh, you can work also from your phone. It's possible. Uh, we, 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 we have tried it. Uh, of course, it's more convenient to work in PC uh, which is some kind of desktop or laptop, but it's also possible to do it from uh, from from phone, especially if you have a big screen. <laughs> of 
for your phone. No, I can, a bit comment uh, this, yeah. Uh, in the beginning, we think about this, does we need to co create also in the same time some mobile app? Uh, and then we decide, okay, it, uh, we don't have enough resources uh, no, <laughs> to both exactly, to work exactly in both directions, but uh, of course, uh, no, uh, a website is, uh, 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 it's called, uh, uh, I forgot the name. <laughs> uh, that's me, no, oh, reliable, not, but uh, no, it's, 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 it's uh, relatively screen friendly. This mean uh, if you are changing your screens that everything uh, no, is moving more or less uh, correctly. Uh, no, but uh, no, of course, we have some limitation in the very tiny screen. Uh, no, it doesn't look very good. Uh, but uh, I mean, modern phones, so no, no, we try to use also and test it on, on the phones. No, uh, and, and, it, and we decided it is okay, not maybe perfect, but it is okay. Uh, and uh, sometimes maybe in some screens are better to change your phone orientation from portrait to landscape. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I forgot the right name, how it's called when you're creating response, a res responsible design. Not, not completely correctly. <laughs> It is responsive. Yeah, we yeah tested, responsive. Yeah. yeah, yeah, responsive. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so I hope uh, while listening to Yanis, uh, you also do your uh, simulation or or your work on 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 some kind of your business idea. And uh, you see, I'm I'm already in the part where where uh, I am looking at some industry data, perhaps you are also there with your specific industry and you can see, uh, well, numbers for, for your industry. If you have any specific questions, don't hesitate again to ask in the platform, uh, sorry, in the chat. So um, me or Janis, if we will see these questions, so we will try to answer. And then also check what are the industry risks or what, uh, let's say, the, the the experts have specified here so that oh i'm surprised a bit actually uh, when we choose this manufacturer of ice cream industry c1052 oh relatively uh, lots of green color we have here <laughs> yeah especially under these macro risks and and and, and also industry risks Mm, yeah. Industry level risks, yeah. So that's mean when we compare with our previous example uh, about manufacturing cider, which is alcohol, by the way. Uh, no, this is uh, producing just ice cream is uh, less uh, risky business. Yeah, looks like. Uh, Maybe I need to change my ideas. <laughs> yes. So uh, if you've done this, uh, so as, as, as we did it already before, so okay, you say I, 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 I saw what the system says about the industry data, about the industry risks, so I can move on and yeah, well, it was here and uh, to work on uh, my business model, which is this part, business canvas. Yeah. So here comes the third step, sorry, fourth step from the slide on the right called work on your value propositions. So press the button, value propositions and add some key product, give the name, Select what type is it, physical good or service. Give some description, one sentence, maybe two, maybe just some keywords for you to understand and to 
to not to forget what you thought about maybe this. maybe christopher we can also if we are working together here one more time uh no try to figure out what kind of service we can provide in uh, manufacturing of ice cream business yeah well the first that comes to to to, to my mind of course is some kind of uh, we can we can theoretically have a retail of this uh, produced ice cream uh, maybe in nearby shop uh, that belongs to which is our own so which is some kind of retail service so as i said maybe we can deliver at home maybe we can have some uh, excursion excursions in our factory uh, to provide to to those interested in how ice cream is made especially for children so you see theoretically there are a lot of them uh, possible uh, different services so we have okay. something i'm offering i'm offering uh, uh, ice cream producing workshop okay yes because we are very smart uh, in ice cream industry, and we would like to share our experience with others. Good. Yeah, so we can offer this service. Uh, so perhaps we will uh, attract some group even. So it might be a good uh, income uh, for, for in our business model. So we will provide workshops. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe we will have to outsource maybe some uh, coaches, some teachers for that as well. But uh, it's possible. Yeah. So in this case, it would be some service. Uh, well, two week courses. <laughs> in group. In group by 10 of five to ten people so we believe that sorry courses not like this yes uh, well yeah that might be one of our products uh, what will be the price level uh, let's go completely free okay so this will be some kind of ad for us yeah so yeah okay marketing um Additional income sources from this product. <laughs> then we need to click. Um, now, well, we can we can skip this. Different now. price for businesses, actually. Okay. It's free. Good. It's free. It's free for uh, common users, common customers. But if somebody will say, "Okay, I would like to receive master class for my business on uh, Christmas time," then okay, we will charge a bit. Mm. Yeah. Perhaps it will become a trend. People will start to run to us saying that, oh, well, I want to make the ice cream at home. So um, and it will become very popular maybe among some Instagram users, for example. Um, yeah, might be a niche, uh, might be a different variant and many other things maybe. I don't know. Okay, so yeah, in that way, and then uh, you need to well, press save. Actually, Christos, you need to press save button. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you forgot sorry about this, but uh, yeah, yeah. Never forget about saving. Yeah, sorry, I forgot about it um, and here. But normally, you have to make save, save. Yeah, at the end. So, but then uh, we can go also to well to to some customer segments. So, so what would be the customer segment for our courses? Uh, oh, please, uh, please, please uh, create one uh, product, by the way. Okay, just uh, let's say ice cream. Courses? Good. No, just uh, just because we need to one product of no, to no, but let it be the same one. No, do you remember everything? So okay, three and some options. Yeah. 
well, it doesn't matter. And say, and say, and say. Yes, please. and this is important. You say always, otherwise you will lose uh, what you've specified. Yeah. Okay, we are saving each part, of course, uh, here, um, uh, but uh, no, during the developing process, no question raised, uh, can we save each change immediately or no? No, then, no, no, our developers said maybe it's, no, it's uh, make too uh, much uh, 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 no, for our <laughs> server, which we have, it's uh, saving uh, each uh, any change like in Google Docs now. Okay, so for these uh, ice cream production courses, what kind of customer segments we will attract, Janis? I don't know. Well, from companies, some corporate, uh, well, um, groups or households okay let's go to business for example okay uh segment name segment name can be uh no, how it's called horeca hotels yeah. restaurants hotel restaurants cafes uh, um, yeah. clients like that okay oh well that's for us clients horeca oh well horeca yeah yeah, yeah. okay so this is uh well oh uh, this is actually no yeah we are actually no, no we are services from yeah the services would be the mm -hmm. one yeah this is question about uh no to small most companies small, would like, like to work yeah i think that work mostly small. small maybe small and medium but say, not yeah. large yeah yeah, typically in Horeca, we find uh, small and medium sized companies, except maybe some uh, hotel chains or restaurant chains, but normally, yes. So perhaps uh, we can have also another segment later for uh, the large companies, but let's imagine that this is for small and medium sized companies. And geographical location, I believe. Domestic. This is dom domestic, yeah, domestic. Okay, so we have one. Okay. So, uh, when we presented the, 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 in the first part, we didn't look at, um, we didn't look at um, channels. Let's, uh, let's maybe make one uh, simulation with channels. So, add channel. Uh, so, how we will sell, how, or how we will deliver. Uh, how we will deliver the product. You see, uh, first you have to specify what product you are speaking about here. Yes, so I take courses, um, which is the only product in our business model at the moment. And then uh, there is a question, what uh, channel it could be? Direct sales agents or other? Direct sales. Ah, uh, yes, I believe it too. This might be an option. So, uh, no, no, let's... no, no, no. Let's next the next direct sell channel. We need to select okay. more yeah. precisely. Uh, so, let's specify a bit more. Will it be our own shop, market first, direct visit? Own shop. Own shop. This means that we will sell it in our promises. Yeah. In, in our, physical. yes, yes. In our factory, most probably it will take place. Um, physical courses or online? Oh, no, no, it's on shop. <laughs> okay, this is a broad, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, yes, why not? Physical, yeah, yes. yeah, physical, yeah, physical. Okay. Mm -hmm. with, a fix, with, a, with a fixed location, I believe. Yeah, and so. the last one, distribution channel. <laughs> about the, okay, it's, it's they will have to yeah. come yeah yes yeah, exactly okay add so but then we can add some more of course if we wish of course so, because they have a different products uh, yeah. they have a combination of products and you know it's 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 it's, it's 
example, and also this is the same product we can select also no, no different uh, no channels. Uh, we would like to sell directly by us. We would love, we are able to sell via uh, some. Uh, yeah, no, we are some agents. Or maybe another unspecified also, well, channels we have. Mm. Well, courses we can add maybe some, okay, direct sales, but little in a bit different way. We can visit there. Uh, yeah, we can visit, uh, yeah, we can visit. Uh, 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 some hotels perhaps, yeah. Yeah. We can provide courses on site uh, there for, for at, at our clients' premises as well. So that's it. I think, I don't know, uh, Valentina, what you say, but we had uh, at, uh, for, for maybe some uh, conclusion remarks at the end, um, and uh, maybe there are some wrap up or some more questions maybe from the, from the audience. I hope that you tried uh, the tool and maybe after trying, trying uh, and then, then the, well, entering something. So maybe some new questions have arrived. So from the chat box, I just see that Edwards is uh, suggesting a, a good movie, Risky Business. Um, Silver Ice Cream is just a great example. So this is a statement and a suggestion more than a question. Uh, I will take the opportunity to post the link of the website of the platform again in the chat box if anyone has missed it. And uh, yeah, it's almost 5.30, so the, the time has come to, uh, to an end. Uh, what I would like to say, just because I see a lot of interaction in the chat box, and I guess mm, some people have um, landed in this room later on, and didn't get a chance to ask the question, I would like to remind all of you that we have another uh, opportunity to um, to answer your questions uh, and to talk about Kabada again, because we have, uh, um, we have planned a final conference, uh, the Kabada final conference on the 26th of January. So if by today, uh, you haven't uh, seen your questions answered or you have any other doubts or simply you want to follow up on Kabada, uh, this is a, a good chance on the final conference on the 26th of January to connect. Uh, the event is going to be uh, held, uh, it's going to be a hybrid event. So we're going to be in uh, at BA and Finance School of, uh, of Riga in Latvia. And uh, we're going to uh, stream the event online so anyone can join. Uh, I would ask uh, my colleague to share the, um, the registration link for whoever wants to join. Uh, of course, for the people who are in Riga, they're, they're welcome to join on site. But for those who uh, don't have a chance to meet uh, on site, I'll I extend the invitation to just join online. Uh, it's simple to do it, just register on the link. <clears throat> and I think it's going to be a good opportunity to talk about Kabada again. Uh, everybody's thanking us, uh, thanking you most of all for, uh, for the interesting presentations. And uh, today's uh, session uh, was mainly an interactive session. So we just wanted to share with you how the tool works and see if you get a grip on it and if you can use it. Uh, of course, the main objective of the tool Kabada is to be used. So the more you use it and the more the machine learns, so it's going to be improving all the time in the future. So uh, I would just say thank you, Christoph Sinyanis, for, for your excellent presentation and for sharing your uh, hard work on the, on the development of the tool. Uh, do you have any further comments, uh, Yanis and Christophs? No, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking also at our chat button. Uh, uh, I would say uh, thanks for uh, everybody who participated and thanks for uh, great takes from your side. Uh, I really appreciate this. Uh, uh, yeah, and uh, uh, please uh, keep in your mind to. Uh, 
next Thursday. Uh, and uh, please uh, register your tower conference. No, uh, you can choose which part is more be more interesting for you, uh, because we will talk. Uh, no, no, not only how uh, we are <laughs> using this tool, but also about uh, future possibility in which uh, uh, directions. Uh, no, no. Uh, we are seeing uh, no, our next audience is actually where this tool can be useful in which sectors, um, not only in the higher educational, but also in school educational level and, 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 and maybe for uh, self-learning for somebody. And also, no, no, some uh, smart discussions uh, will happen so between our experts. That's mainly, you are very welcome. Uh, also, our colleagues uh, shared a link to our official homepage where about the conference registration is open. No, uh, you can register also no, just a uh, no, no few days before. Uh, it's also not a problem because no, it's a hybrid type of conference. You can join from where you are, uh, what time you would like, and you are very welcome and also ask questions. Okay, thank you, Yanis. Thank you very much. So to wrap everything up, Kabada is out there, it's free, it's for everyone, it's available, and uh, it's going to be the, the best friend of whoever wants to start a business and who doesn't know how to make a business plan. It's going to help everybody, not only young entrepreneurs, but also people with uh, little experience with uh, how to set up a business and prepare to open up a business. So this is all about it. We just wanted to show it today to you and we hope you enjoyed this session and i hope to see you soon uh especially on the 26th of january again is our conference so thank you all very very much uh for being here today we just uh, wrap it up and say have a great day and bye bye <laughs>